Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, I'm still in holiday mood and making no apologies for it. Um, I'm just uh, chilling a little bit until uh, the new year is here, enjoying a little downtime. And it's easy because it's gray, kind of drizzly and cold outside, which is something different for me. And actually it's not unpleasant, you know, I like different different weather and this has uh, been nice and relaxing. Uh, I just had pretty much a lazy day yesterday minimal amount of uh, productivity but anyhow I want to talk about getting back on track with the raw food diet and how how some ideas um, I do videos every day so if you're not already subscribed to the channel I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button now so you can see what all's to come in 2018 and then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel um, yeah it's just I, I these holidays are strange I'm uh, I'm understanding a few things more about myself and I'm settling into this age. I'm starting to accept things a little bit better. I've got a little weird injury in my chest and I can't really remember, figure out how I did it, but it's like it's limited my range. And before I would just plow on through, go to the gym and uh, probably aggravate it, but I'm just going to let it rest a little bit. I have somewhat, I don't know, I, I have these little weird issues with my ribs from time to time and believe it or not, I think I might have just slept in a bad position the other night, but it's just real sore here in the top part of my chest. So, eh, that's neither here nor there. But, um, so getting back on track, I'm sure there's going to be a million videos out there. There's going to be a lot of programs and new folks vying for your souls. Buy my program, buy my plan. I'm going to get you back in 2018. Um, uh, they probably don't have anything that you don't have down in, in you. You just need to rethink this a little bit. One of the things I would say, the biggest key I would say, if this, if this lifestyle hasn't worked for you, if you fell off the wagon, you fell off the wagon for some reason. So the most important, important, important thing you can do um, before you start to trying to get back on track is identify the problem. What made you fall off? Why did you not eat like you wanted to eat, do like you wanted to do this past year. Where, where, where are the problems? You got to identify those problems. And you need to be realistic with yourself um, and stop using the same old excuses. Um, I see people all the time and it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's like me, the logical robot being is just like, okay, well, you're not really saying anything there. It's like you're, you're saying all your problems, but you don't have any, you're not even offering yourself any possible solutions. And it's almost like you're trying to justify yourself to somebody else. Nobody else cares if you are raw vegan, if you eat a raw food diet. That's all on you. Now, there's people like people that want that are more than happy to help you along the way. But you know, sometimes it's just like you're trying to help somebody, and they just you you try to offer an idea to one excuse, and then oh, but I can't do it. And everything you throw out at them, they shoot it down, and you just kind. Of, and to be quite honest, that frustrates people that are trying to help. It's just like, well, shoot, you know, if you're not going to do anything for yourself, other people are less inclined to keep trying and trying and trying. Um, listen. You're either change your circumstances, I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget just exactly what I was thinking a little while ago, either change your circumstances or find a way, find a way to do it under your current circumstances, circumstances or adapt. That's your only three choices, to be quite honest with you. Either change your circumstances, find a way to do it under your current circumstances, or you adapt. Um, I always hear all the time, well, well but this, what, what about, and they ask me specific areas, but in this area, I'm not getting fruit and I'm not getting this and I don't get this and I don't get that. That's probably not going to change. I doubt very seriously that, you know, so things change over time, but I doubt very seriously, wherever you're sitting in the world listening to this right now, that all of a sudden in next year, a few week from now, that a big old, big old trucks are going to roll up into your town or roll up to your market or wherever you buy your stuff and just dump a bunch of tropical fruit and a lot of new stuff there. And all of a sudden you go from not having any fruit to, wow, now I have choices of everything. It's not going to happen. So you have to be realistic. Um, what do you have to make do in um, this lifestyle? You know, what, what fruits do you have? What greens are available? How, what is the best way you can do this lifestyle under your circumstances? Or, 
as the other option I was going to say, change your circumstances. Pick up, sell the house, sell the car, do whatever you got to do, and move to somewhere where you are able to get the food that you need to do this lifestyle. If that's, you know, if being a, if living on a raw food diet, being fully raw, eating it like you want to eat, exactly like you want to eat, is that, a, uh, is that important to you? Oh, excuse me. Or number three, you adapt. And you, I don't know, I don't, like some people just, it almost like uh, deflates them when they hear this. You just get off this whole mentality of, I'm going to be fully raw in a hostile environment. Um, this, uh, pe there's so many people trying to be fully raw just for the sake of being fully raw in hostile environments. Listen, if it's at all possible and you can make it work, do it. But if you're causing yourself all this mental stress, mental anguish, you're, you're quite likely offsetting the good you're doing with the food, with the stress that you're putting on your mind and on your body. So, you know, do something different. But please, make your, own, make your decision. If you're going to do something different, do something different. And when you start doing something different, then reach out in your groups and ask people and ask for help and this or that. But if you're just going to kind of keep doing the same thing over and over and over and hope, oh, something's going to magically change and the results are going to be different, then leave everybody else out of it and just stop with the endless excuses of, well, I can't get the fruit here. Well, you didn't get the fruit there in 2015, 16, or 17. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, let's see. You got, you got, like I said, you've got to be realistic about this lifestyle. About, And it's not even just when I say your circumstances. Now I'm just talking about location. But... Um, you know, there's more to your circumstances than just the physical location. Uh, maybe you have a family, you know, uh, I got to imagine I've talked to a couple of people through the holidays and I, I love, um, you know, being able to talk about this in a more rational intellectual manner than you can in groups and in public forums where you don't know who's out there and there's different sensitivities, there's different intelligence levels, there's different comprehension levels. But when I do talk to people and I get real perspective from people that, you know, and their struggles and different things they're going through, I understand it's tough. It's tough. That's why I say uh, to a large extent, you, can, you might be able to take certain things from me on the psychology, on the progress, but a lot of people are not going to be able to relate to me, and that's understandable. And I'm not going to necessarily be able to relate to them 100% because of my situation and my circumstances. I didn't have anybody fooling with me when I came to this lifestyle. I figured this stuff out. I didn't have distractions. I didn't have people in the house. I don't have, you know, I don't have family other than my mother here and she wasn't in Costa Rica. So, I, you know, I understand when you're the only raw vegan, the only person eating a raw food diet and you've got a spouse or a partner and you have children in the house. I mean, there's people that are trying to do this lifestyle that are living in a house with three or four people that are not. Um, now I could do that. I could go into your house, like if you invited me to come stay, I could go into your house, there could be Oreos all over the table, Doritos, there could be barbecue ribs, KFC, there could be booze all over the place. That ain't my stuff. So it would not bother me any, it, it wouldn't bother me a bit. But I try to think back, what if um, I'd had to deal with these type things, you know, in the beginning? So what I'm getting at here is sometimes it's just, there's no shame and just saying you're gonna do the best you can do. Um, and that is much, in my opinion, that's a much healthier um, way of thinking than just beating your head against the wall all the time. There's a lot of people, and I'm never going to say that directly to somebody, but you just see their story, you follow their story for a while, and you just say in your head, unless a miracle lightning strikes or something like the lottery, odds of the lottery, you're never going to be a fully raw vegan. You're never going to follow a raw food diet 100%. But if you, if you are determined, you know, whatever level you're at, whether you're want, where you just want to eat a healthy version of a raw food diet and eat mostly raw foods, and mo when I say mostly, I'm going to say 75% and up. Or whether you do say, nope, I don't accept that, Jack. I'm going to be, I'm going to follow a fully raw food diet here where I am. 
Well, then you really have to put some thought. You really have to put some planning into it. You can't just do it willy-nilly. And the more you struggle, the more effort you have to put into it. Sometimes it's not fair. Some people just take to this diet. Um, you know, a lot of the things that I recommend here, I don't do. I didn't have a plan. I don't really have a plan now. I don't journal. I don't write down what I eat. But once again, I didn't have the, I didn't have the things, you know, the distractions when I came to this lifestyle. So I was easy to slip into it, maybe easier than some people. So I didn't need to do that. But you bet your butt I would have done that. Like if I'd have needed to, I really, really can't stress enough the, the importance of writing down everything that you're eating um, when you're getting started on this lifestyle because then there's no guesswork. Our minds play tricks on us. Our minds forget things. You know, if you're trying, if something's not working for you and you're trying to think, okay, what have I been eating over the past three or four weeks? Well, your mind's going to just have these generalities. Well, I do eat these banana smoothies. I do eat this, I eat that. But it may not, it may eliminate some of those, th those problem spots. You're not going to remember everything. But if you have, and this isn't my food journal, but I keep little notebooks around. But if you have your food journal, you go back and you see day by day, you're like, okay, for the last three weeks, I've eaten this, 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 and this. Um, I don't know. Think of new things, where new outlets. Where can you get fruit from? Or there, you know, maybe you have. Um, have you, if you've only shopped in your one small little town, or even in the area where you are, uh, expand your circle a little bit. Google, Google farms, Google produce, or Google organic produce, uh, Google fruit. You know, reach out. Um, one thing I would really like to see um, <laughs> is some of these groups on this lifestyle becoming a little bit more useful instead of just sitting around all day babbling about the ins and outs of a smoothie or how to eat fruit and ain't that complicated. Maybe we start networking out there. Maybe we start reaching out to each other. Maybe we start figuring out how I can help you, you can help me. If I'm in an area, you know, within the same country, when you get in different countries, it's a little bit tough on what on shipping. You know, help help somebody out. Let's have we could have partnerships out there. Maybe you're in an area of the country where you get one particular fruit in abundance and you get it at a really cheap price. I'm hinting out there mangoes. I, I see people all the time talk about these ridiculously cheap prices. They are getting on mangoes and they're good here within the US, all right? Hey, box me up some and ship them to me. Now, I'm not asking, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying send me this nice big gift, but you know, I've, I've done the math a couple of times and I hear people like telling, saying, oh, I'm getting this, this, this right now. Wow, look at this price. I'm thinking, I'm calculating. I'm thinking, okay, if I paid you for that and even paid the shipping on top of that, it would be worth it to me. But you know, reach out, network. Network and see how maybe you can share some fruit. That's a little bit tougher, but also reach out to each other for support. Once again, stop just this, hone your process. Stop just this babbling in a group. Hey, I do this and that. What does everybody think? You're going to get 436 answers from no, people that you don't even know. You don't know anything about them. They could just be babbling back to you. Form some little support groups. If you've had a problem on this lifestyle, there's people out there all over. You could not find one group. I would almost guarantee if you're in any raw food groups out there, you will not, there's not one group that don't, doesn't have X amount of people that are struggling on that. Get three or four people that are your Facebook friends or some other social media platform or some, how do you know online or if it's in person, even the better and support and form this support system. You know, back each other up. If you're having a hard time, if you're struggling at a certain time, have yourself be able to chat with them. Have some sort of a communication. You know, We're, this is a this is a amazing world we live in. I can I chatted with somebody for two hours yesterday from the UK. I talked to people all over the time. I can go live on Instagram. I can reach out and get answers all the time. And you bet your ass, it's not going to be because I just put a general, hey, what does everybody think about this on Facebook or something? So. To sum it all up, change what you're doing to get what you want. If it's not working, change it. If that doesn't work, try something else. Give something enough time to work, but you know what I mean. But 
Anyhow, enough of these rambling holiday videos. I'll be back on point here pretty soon, but I hope that might be a little bit helpful for you. If you like this one, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.